Let's talk about Kamala Harris in Vietnam and the Vice President, who is avoiding Washington, avoiding the fallout from the Afghanistan debacle, avoiding the southern border for which she was at one point in time appointed the czar to clean up the mess of the southern border. Nothing has been cleaned up and nothing has been resolved. Is in Vietnam. She is trying to win the Vietnamese over, away from uh, China, trying to pull them away from China and towards the United States. And as she is touring the country, her media and press communications department thought it would be a good idea for the U.S. Vice President to cackle her way over to a monument which she thought and her media and press communications department thought was a memorial to former prisoner of war and former U.S. Senator, now deceased, John McCain. And I am here on RT. The title of their article says, Kamala Harris visits Vietnamese site marking capture of enemy pilot John McCain, seemingly thinking it's a memorial. Why would the Vietnamese build a memorial to a person who was actively killing them during the war? A pilot who had 22 times bombed the Vietnamese. Why would they put up a memorial to this man, to this neocon warmonger? But here you can see the photo. And you can see Kamala Harris standing there with an umbrella, with a mask, of course, with flowers in front of this memorial, which she thought and her press and media team, and this is the most important part because we all know Kamala isn't doing anything that is not being directed by her media and press communications department. They thought that this would be a good idea and that this was an actual memorial to John McCain. And she even says so much in her statements. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris blundered into a series of cultural faux pas while visiting Vietnam. Her first official journey to a foreign state in office, to a foreign state in office, as she attempted to pay homage to former prisoner of war John McCain. Harris on Wednesday stopped by a lakeside monument in the capital city of Hanoi to place a bouquet of flowers. As if believing the structure was meant to honor deceased Arizona Senator and the former U.S. fighter pilot John McCain. The stop marked the third anniversary of McCain's death from a brain tumor. There's a video from C-SPAN, which I'm going to play. In just a bit, C-SPAN tweeted, VP Harris lays flowers at Hanoi Memorial where John McCain's plane was shot down. He was an extraordinary American, it's Kamala Harris, quote, he was an extraordinary American, a hero who loved our country. He was so courageous and really lived the life of a hero. Always fought for the best of who we are. Everyone is aware of who John McCain was and what he fought for. This user on Twitter pointed out the, uh, the terrible, and I'm being kind, the terrible diplomatic faux pas that the Kamala team made by saying this, she visited the place where John McCain was shot, the dude who literally bombed Vietnam 22 times, a war criminal and a liar, on the freaking birthday of Vo Nguyen Gap. So much for America is back. They expect Vietnam to side with us. LOL. Daydream. How is that trip working out, Kamala Harris, to Vietnam? How is that working out for you? John McCain was, uh, was popular with the Democrats during the last days of his, uh, of his life and during his last term because he sided against Orange Man. And that is why the neoliberals felt that it was proper for Kamala Harris to go to this, to this spot, which they thought was a memorial in honor of McCain, which is actually a memorial in honor of the people who shot down and captured John McCain. 
He was shot down over Truk Bak Lake during the Vietnam War in 1967 and pulled out by Vietnamese civilians who turned him over to the Vietnamese Communist Army as their prisoner. The memorial where Harris placed her flowers positioned at the site of the crash was intended as a tribute to the Vietnamese defenders who captured the pilot, not the American who crash landed in their lake after already bombing their country 22 times, likely killing multiple innocent civilians along the way. Here is what the plaque reads, and I'm going to play the video right after I read what uh, the plaque of uh, this site says. Quote, on 26 October 1967, near Trubak Lake in the capital, Hanoi, the citizens and military caught pilot John Sidney McCain. The U.S. Navy Air Force aviator was flying aircraft A-4, which crashed near Yen Fu Power Station. This was one of 10 aircraft shot down that same day. Here is the video of the U.S. Vice President believing that this is a memorial to John McCain, placing flowers at the site, when in fact this is a memorial to the people, to the Vietnamese defenders who captured the pilot, according to the inscription on the plaque. So there's Harris, once again, umbrella, mask, bouquet of flowers. The worst communications, PR, press, media, staff, the White House has ever had in all of history. That is what we are looking at when we are looking at this communications department in the White House. The absolute worst. They didn't know what this memorial was. They didn't know what it meant, what the inscription said. They had no idea. They actually thought. They believed that this was in honor of John McCain. Why in God's name would the Vietnamese put a memorial, place a memorial for a man who killed them, who attacked them? Why would they do that? What is going through your freaking minds when you create this scenario? this staged event for Kamala Harris to place these flowers there. And these are the people that are, that are talking to us about science and the coof and, and all this stuff. These are the people that are going to lecture us about science and about what's right and what's wrong. McCain spent five years as a prisoner of war following his capture. The incident Trump, Trump infamously referred to when he inflamed the rivalry between the two politicians with the dry observation that he preferred heroes who don't get captured. I remember that quote from Trump. Boy, did that piss off McCain. And McCain then started to go on his orange man bad uh, mission, and the Democrats loved him for that. McCain himself reportedly cracked after just three or four days under interrogation by the Vietnamese, as according to RT, volunteer volunteering to give up military information if they would take him to a hospital where he revealed 
He was the son of the senior naval commander for all U.S. forces in the Pacific, John McCain Sr. Big grab from the Vietnamese. They captured the pilot who was the son of the who was the son of the senior naval commander for all U.S. forces in the Pacific. Big catch. Put a memorial there. That was a big grab. And uh, yeah, I've, I've read many, uh, many statements, many articles that claim that McCain absolutely cracked. The younger McCain subsequently received favorable medical treatment, much unlike his fellow POWs many of whom would later accuse him of not doing enough to bring back their comrades in arms when he was a senator. Indeed, the stories he tells of five and a half years of being tortured by the Vietnamese differ greatly from the stories told by his captors who explained to the BBC back in 2008 that they forgave his lying about being tormented at the Hanoi Hilton. McCain was running for president at the time, had no choice but to talk up his wartime exploits, one of his keeper's reasons. That was when he was running for president with uh, the ticket of, uh, what was her name? Sarah Palin. That was the ticket. And they ended up losing to Barack Obama. That was in 2008, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, there you have it. Everybody, Kamala Harris and her media department at the White House. One stupidity after the next. And that is the video, The Durant Shop. You'll find the link down below, 10%. We use the code Real News. Pick up some merchandise. Go to the Durant.locals.com. There you can post all kinds of great stories. The community is super active. Um, really, really great community at the Durant.locals.com. And go to Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey and Super U, where you will find all our videos, my videos, Alexander's videos, the Durant's videos, all in one spot. You'll find all those links down below. Take care.